What's going on, guys? Future Specs here, back with another video. And today, we're bringing you another episode of Sleeper Keys in collaboration with comicbookinvest.com. Some great picks. Wes, why don't you tell the people what a sleeper key is? Well, a sleeper key is a book that is not necessarily being focused on, that not a lot of people are talking about, that could heat up and become a very big book in the future. Yeah, so basically, I mean, it's kind of just what it's what it sounds like, man. It's a book being slept on. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, guys, uh, after this video, make sure you go to comicbookinvest.com. There's going to be a fourth pick only on only on that website, right? It's going to be at the top of the description, comicbookinvest.com. Go read the fourth pick written by yours truly. It's a good one. Trust me. <laughs> Definitely don't want to miss Doom. it. Yeah, and it involves Dr. Doom, so you, you, know, you know it's going it to be good. All right, guys, my pick, we're going with Thor, God of Thunder, number one. This is the first appearance of old King Thor, and specifically the 1 in 25 Ribic variant, okay? Let's pull that up, and I love this cover. This cover... It's an awesome cover. Yeah, this depicts um, Thor, old King Thor, so older version of Thor, and then young Thor. And if you read the God of Thunder storyline, which includes Gore the God Butcher, who we're going to be seeing in this upcoming movie, those those three versions of Thor are very important to the storyline. And it only makes sense that they're going to be showing up in this movie, right? So this is the first yeah. old King Thor. And not only that, but it's also this awesome variant cover by Ribic, where which features those three. You know what I mean? Those three Thors. So would this and be considered their first cover appearance? I'm not sure about young. I'm not sure about young Thor, but for old King Thor, yeah, definitely. I'm not. I'm not really sure awesome. about the whole young Thor thing. I'm not sure if they like. I'm not sure how that continued. I don't know. But anyway, guys, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this book is a one in twenty five variant. First appearance of a major character of a really awesome storyline that they will be probably adapting into this next upcoming Thor movie. Yeah. And it's going for ratio. This book is raw is selling between 25 and like $40. Wow. That's like, not bad for a one in 25. Yeah. So this is basically a, if you pick this up back in the day at your shop, you know, the first day it came out, you know what I mean? Like it's still just it's so cheap and it's I think it's the best cover yeah. of the number one, and then it depicts those three major characters who we're gonna be seeing probably first appearance of old King Thor. Like it'll only make sense, man. Like this is this book should be worth so much more. I think a nine six sold for like fifty dollars, and then wow. nine eight is you can probably get for like between one fifty and two hundred. Like this thing is just so cheap. So next book up is Defenders twenty eight. So this is part of a two book set with 27, which is the first cameo and then 28 being the first full appearance with this awesome cover by Ron Wilson of Starhawk. So who is Starhawk? Well, he is a awesome Marvel cosmic character. He was part of the original Guardians of the Galaxy team and we've already seen him in the movies already, but we haven't really because we've only seen Sylvester Stallone playing Stakar. So with the end credit scene of the second movie, we see Sylvester Stallone getting the original team back together. And we know he's going to be in Guardians 3. So could we see him actually taking on the mantle of Starhawk this time in the next Guardians movie? And then also maybe him or some of the other Guardians team becoming part of the new permanent team. Because we know they're switching it up in this third movie. It's going to be the last one for a lot of the characters we know. So who knows if any of these guys I could show up and be part of the mainline Guardians now. I really, really, really like this book, Wes. I like this pick. <laughs> I mean, he literally says at the end of the movie, let's get the gang back together, man. You know what I yeah. mean? So it makes sense that we see like that old Guardians team. It would be really cool. Be a callback to the comics. This is a great Bronze Age book, man. Tell us how much oh, yeah. these are selling for. Well, so this is still fairly cheap. Uh, you can get a nice raw copy for about like 20 30 on eBay, but I'm sure you can find it in the dollar bin books at some shops that just might not know what it is. 
And then right. you can get this graded sales, the last CGC 9.6 sold for about $230. So, you know, that's not book. that bad for a Bronze Age book, early defenders in a 9.6. So, you know, you can get this book for a fairly decent buy-in price. Yeah, very cool. Well, I, I mean, you already know Wes is coming in with the Marvel Cosmic picks, guys. I mean, <laughs> Always. Yeah. <laughs> Always. So last book for this video, I'm sticking with this Guardians theme, and that is Guardians of the Galaxy Annual 1 from 1991. This is the first appearance of Krugar, who I'm sure a lot of you have no idea who this character is. He is an alien extra dimensional character who is the Sorcerer Supreme of his dimension. And he is also part of the Guardians team. We also see him in that end credit scene that I talked about on the last book. So could we be seeing him show up in the next movie? He's a Sorcerer Supreme. He's a CGI character, so, you know, they don't have to worry about getting actors and all that. So I feel like with the way Multiverse of Madness and just the magical, more supernatural side of stuff, I feel like they could mix that with the cosmic, and we yeah. could see this character coming back. And like I said on the last book, could he be joining the Guardians team now? Dude, this is the perfect storm of Marvel Cosmic and, like, you know, sorcerer stuff and magic and stuff. Oh, Boom. Yeah. Going into one with a character we've all... The two best things about these two books is these characters we've already seen on screen, which is, like... And we they said, let's get the gang... Again, let's get the gang back together. Yeah. What do you think that means, people? I mean, come on. This guy, and we know week. Sylvester Stallone is going to be back in the third movie, so all the others yeah. probably are too. Yeah, like, dude, all right, I've uh, Wes, I'm by. I before this <laughs> video drops, just know I will be grabbing these, all right? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're in luck because this is a it's the cheapest it can get. This is a dollar bin book all day on eBay, it's been going for one to five, but you can definitely find it in dollar bins. So, dude, I love this pick, I love. These more of com cosmic picks, Wes, keep them coming, man. Jeez, killing <laughs> it. All right, guys, that is it for us. Again, go to comicbookinvest.com. It's at the top of the description. Fourth pick on there. It's a Dr. Doom book. John Byrne, really <laughs> awesome. But before you do that, when you're heading out, make sure you hit that like button. Drop us a comment on what your favorite pick is. And also hit that subscribe button because it really helps yeah. us out a lot. And we really appreciate it. And we like hanging out with you guys. So yeah. that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Peace. See ya.